And we're back for the final hour of this week's episode of A Song of Tara, episode number 57. And we have, uh, we are spending time with our happy, happy, happy um, guru who are growing increasingly. Uh, um, let's just say their sanity is, is starting to fray a little around the edges in, in the flux realm. Um, but all the good people I'm at. Well, true, true. Uh, but um, you guys, during the break, you sounded like you had a plan. Yes. Yes. So let's yes. share it with the listeners. Liam. Yes. We can't keep wandering around like this. We're going to lose focus on on our target, on on, on, on Kenneth. We yeah. need to focus on something, anything, to bring us to a a point we can work from. Let's focus on him then. Between who do you want to focus on? Oh. And have you I have a mind? and and just as as that voice uh, uh, speaks, uh, the the ground splits in front of you. You are suddenly standing literally on the precipice of a deep deep drop, it's way down below. Uh, you can you get struck in the face by this this unbelievable heat. It feels like it scorches your skin and, and your your eyebrows vanish just from standing there. And, and down way down below, you see this this wide river of of lava floating past. And 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 the voice seems to come from from down there. Very. Cool. We're looking for a fellow named Kenneth McAlpin. I don't know who this is. But who are you? You who do not burn. I can we make are... you burn. Oh, you please want. don't. Yeah, please you don't. don't want to. You prefer to be cold. Yes. Prefer to be wet. We are, we are blessed by a river. We are Guru. Okay. Shape changes. Ah yes, yes. Your kind sometimes visits. Sometimes you stay. Sometimes you burn. Sometimes you leave. Are you leaving? Not until we find Kenneth McAlpin. But I do not know him, and I know everyone in this place. He may not be in this place, but this might be the way. Through this place is the means to get to him. But that is a different matter entirely, is it not? Um, if yes, you are looking for him here, you will not find him, so you must look else. And where, pray tell, do we find elsewhere? Elsewhere is all around you. Take a step to the left, and you are elsewhere. Take a step to the right, and you will be somewhere else as well. But I suppose you mean something more concrete. Loath though I am to bring direction to a place like this, I fear I must. But there is no direction. Up is down, and down is up. Time flows and stands still and goes backwards. Sometimes it is blue, sometimes it tastes of chicken. You're good with words. Allow me to reciprocate. For someone who is so in. in inundated with the chaos of this place you do understand the concept of concrete of things that are static and yes and yes static is the enemy well it is an enemy at least sometimes are you sick little guru you sound ill only of the mind. This place is. This place is stripping away my concrete, as it were. Oh, 
Yes, it does tend to do that to your kind. I'd rather it didn't. So you wish to not be here? Yes, but to just go anywhere that that is not here could lead us too far from where we want to be. What is this too far? I do not understand the concept. Of course. Everywhere is right here and elsewhere, is it not? Maybe so. But how would we define which particular little point in elsewhere and elsewhere could we possibly describe to you using terms that you may or may not understand? I flow. Can you describe this thing as a river, as a flowing thing? I understand flowing. Flowing, yes. The progression of a liquid from one place to another cause to affect linear time. How limiting. But so it must be, I suppose, if that is what you wish. So, have you an idea for how to reach this static place? Judging by what, by what we've just spoken about, we find the right river and we leave it. You are very clever, Guru. Yes, find the right river. That sounds like such an excellent plan. How can you be sure I am not the right river? I can't. Nothing is certain when all is chaos, but... Well... You understand might... more than most. Those who come here always seek certainty. And there is no such thing in the flux. No. So you search a person, another like you. You will not find him here. You are alone. But what is he other than one such as you? What else is he? What does he stand for? Do you stands. have words to describe him as a an entity? Hmm. He stands for and with the worm, the destroyer. S must burn. Well, we'd be happy to help burn him, but we need to find him. He is uh, of a s s oh, how to describe it if I say where and where he's from when he's from it would it mean anything to you no everywhere is here and here is everywhere mm, of course but yes he is of the worm he is of us and of the worm he is what we call a black spiral dancer so he is static, yes? In belief, yes. In time, he follows linear time as we all in place. He can travel only the face of Gaia. But he is not of the mother. He is the enemy of the mother. He has forsaken the mother, but... Then he must burn, or yeah. bleed. I see. Well, in that case, I shall not burn you. I shall... I shall wish you well, little Guru. 
maybe a bit of stability will help you as well just don't let it conquer you do not become stagnant never the rift in the ground vanishes again and you suddenly find yourself standing on a beautiful meadow and there's a fresh breeze and and the temperature is absolutely lovely Thank you. I'm so confused. <laughs> that was a hell of a good job you did there, Tally. Thank you, Liam. It's nice to know I can still find the words occasionally. <laughs> Out of character. It's fantastic that... I mean, let's, yes, literally just yesterday I was watching the first episode of um, Star Trek Deep Space Nine and, and the same sort of thing where the cat the Captain Sisko, and that has to explain the concept of linear time to creatures who live in all time. Yes. Or at all time. Oh. It's, so it's like, hmm, it's a good thing I watched that. I it helped me find the words <laughs> to a degree there. Oh, well. Um, right. Stability. Where to go from a place of stability? I suppose we look for a river. Do yes. we still think of, of uh, that was completely muffled. Do we still uh, think of him? I suppose so. Marty tries real hard to think of... of, of I think he imagines uh, himself and the rest of the pack finding the dude they're looking for. Right. I think of the, of the pack that's here, only two of us... I think have actually seen even an image of him. Yes, that's why Marty imagines, you know, the pack going like, Oh, we found it! Yay! And the look on their faces and all that. Oh, that way, yes, yes. I think for Liam it's, it's a matter of imagining the, the archetypical Black Spiral dancer. Yeah. And then, Tally, it's a case of remembering the image. I believe it we saw Kenneth briefly in that uh, video involving Michael Blackwell back at the end of our Rite of Passage. Is that him or was that someone else? I feel there were two of them. Oh, yeah, well... Yeah. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I can't remember. <laughs> it's It has been, what... 50, no, 45 episodes since we had that session, so... Yes, I, I'm, that, that is actually, that has slipped my mind. Oh, well. Yes, I do believe it was, the video showed very briefly yes. uh, Kenneth in conversation I, with... I believe oh. it did, yes, I believe it did. Um, anyway, we will say that it it did for the sake of the situation here, but yes, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that that's the case now that you mention it. But... Um, so you, those of you who know what his face looks like, you try to imagine that, and those who don't, just try to imagine going, "Yay, we found him! Now die!" Um, and suddenly, everything around you is is gone, and you are standing in darkness, in total darkness. Um, and then somebody turns on the light. And over your heads, you see, uh, uh, you know, naked light bulbs um, turning the lights on. You are standing in what looks like an airplane hangar, of all things. Um, there's no nothing in here except you. It's a completely empty room, um, except for you. Mm. Why here? <laughs> Airport hangar, unless... When was Kenneth McAlpin ever on a plane to enter or to leave Dublin, maybe, or to get to Dublin from Scotland? Well, if time doesn't matter, he has probably been on a plane at some point. Is this... is... Okay, so is, is, is the hangar completely empty? There's not even like a plane in here or anything? No, nope, there's nothing in here except you. You guys are literally the only thing in this place. 
Why have we come here? How did our thoughts lead us here? Where does... Where does this river of thought flow? Is, is there an exit from the hangar? Nope. Huh. The, well, there are the, 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 I mean, it's, as I said, it's an airplane hangar, so there are the, mm. these great doors that you can, you know, pull mm. closed, but they are, in fact, closed. Okay. And there's no little door in the wall anywhere. Okay. I start sniffing around. Yeah. As you do so, you hear footsteps behind you. I look. You see Cat walking towards you. Cat! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cat, 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 cat! What? Jump. No, 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 no. Oh. Hug. Hug. <laughs> <laughs> she hugs you back. Are you. Are you real? I suppose, in a sense, I am. You're not quite Cat Markson, are you? I am part of her. I am... I am... her thoughts, her conscience. So, I suppose, in a way, I am what makes Cat, Cat. Uh, that's quite important, I suppose. I know it's not strictly accurate, but it is good to see you again. Likewise. How long yeah, have I been out? There's no way for us to tell. I can't Sorry. find my way back. Neither can we. We've we jumped in here looking for a way to find Kenneth McAlpin, and well, it's a struggle. So that's why you're here. I see. Yes. We're out, we're out trying to earn you a, de a good victory. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? She gestures all around, you know, puts her out, arms out to her side and turns around herself. I... I made this place. It's... It's a place of... calm... and quiet... and everything outside is constantly changing, but I have... peace here. Why an airport hangar? It felt large and spacious. Do you at least know where you are? Yes, I'm in the flux realm. Not good. And I couldn't find my way out. I still can't. So, this was... I went here to rest try to come up with an idea. I still haven't found one. It's not terribly good of someone like me who's supposed to be so damn clever, is it? Well... How is everything? Have... How, how is everything back at... The Raven's Eye? Not... Not great. Why not? What happened? First, Tally looks to everyone to make sure. Does anyone have? Does and this is also funny. Our character. Does anyone else want to take over? Because I've said a lot the last sort of half hour. I don't want anyone to. Well, you all know. know how Terran tells things, so that's probably not the best way. Uh, Liam just nods as as Tally looks at him. Basically, saying, "Yeah, just say whatever you want to say." Madi adds, "Remember, we're going to change it." Yeah. Once you'd gone into your little Yarlhammer induced coma, you do remember that, right? Yes, I did. It was. It had to happen, I guess. Yeah. Well, we got rid of the rest of those neo Nazi fuckers. Good. And restored. Except as best we could. We explained the situation. Uh, Joseph had to take over as acting alpha, obviously. Oh, poor man. He's probably never yeah. going to get used to that feeling. 
he did he did look a bit more frayed around the edges than usual. But we held the moot the next night, and we all did our part to try and raise everyone's spirits. I think we succeeded. We gave people hope. We gave That's people. Good. That's good. Gave people a sense of unity and direction because now they knew they knew that the enemy was coming and could prepare for them, and we did prepare. And Guru, we all we reached out all across the city to spirits, to ghosts, to Bastet, to mages, to the Fae. And everyone answered the call. It was glorious. And Mardi, dear sweet Mardi, had the most brilliant plan. We, he got Mardi's the smile. He got the he got a loon and a spider spirit to weave a net of moonlight to trawl through the Liffey to clean out all the taint and we would as we did this everyone defended the city from the from McAlpin and Gina Masterson, the two hives combined against it against all that Dublin could throw at them. And we did so well. Almost two thirds of the whole way through Dublin we we even killed Gina Masterson, and well... That's a great victory. Congratulations. And, Madi, that is an astonishing idea. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. And uh, we also discovered that, uh, quite surprisingly, that our dear Liam, uh, Tally looks at him, not with any... Not sort of sn snark because he has the last few times to deal with it but with actual sort of sense of pride Liam here is in fact a descendant an heir to the Irish hero Cushulan oh my that's uh -huh. I'm I'm in the presence of greatness she says I'm I'm that that is impressive I uh well, well that's I'm something still I'm still Liam well, yes, but that is, well, ancestors and the lives we have lived in the past are important, obviously. Yes, they are. They are. That is true. Well, that was all that happened that went well. After that, things rather began to unravel. We continued trawling as best we could. We received aid from mages, from ghosts. We, were con we managed... Liam brilliantly managed to convince members of the Order of Arno to actually leave us alone while we did our work. That was something. <laughs> I would have paid good money to see that. <laughs> and we saved, or at least we... Taryn saved the spirit of a poor man who was caught in a truck explosion, in the, in the spirit world at least. Prevented it from happening, let him move on. And then... Good. And then we started receiving films or in moving images on our phones of our friends and our loved ones being caught and killed by unseen foes. My mum, Aideen, and at the end, when we'd managed to, through our efforts, unleash a, tra a worm-trapped banshee, that was, that was something. I can't have been entirely risk-free. They're dangerous. She was loud. Yeah. And then we saw one final image out of Tara. Ross and Siobhan and half of the Fina guarding it were dead. Oh, Ross had a spear stuck through his chest. Oh, God. And so we realised that even if we did succeed in cleaning out the entire Liffey and uniting Dublin and driving them out, how could we possibly leave the the heart of what it is to be Fina desecrated? She she looks at at Liam uh, with with genuine sympathy. It's not pity, but it's sympathy on her mm. face, and she says, "I'm words fail me to describe how sad I am to hear this." Please tell me you have a plan. Well, well I'll let uh, find the words finish the yeah, tale. Of course, of course, of course. I'm, by all means, please continue. 
you know, I, I shall try and be brief. But towards the end, we met this spirit, is all I can say, but probably not. He called himself Lou, and from what little we understand, he's in, I believe, in I in Irish mythology, meant to be Cushalan's father. I'm not sure what great what greater significance that has, but he this fellow appeared and offers us a choice. We could either continue as we were, and the events I have described would occur, but Liffey would be cleansed, Dublin would be united, and the enemy would be driven off. Or we could take a risk and his offer enter into the Umbra do something, do some great deed that would save all that we had lost, but at the cost of some other loss or tragedy. I see. And we took that. It seemed the... Of course you did. You had to. It seemed the better option. We ended up in part of the Umbra where time appeared to be like that of the legends of old, the time of Kushulan, and we travelled to Tara, met a that's a Verbena, who lived there, of all things, but he had knowledge of modern times. He'd chosen to live there, and he... He opened the gate that led us here to the Flux in the hope of finding Kenneth McAlpin and ending him. I see. And who knows how long we've been in here, searching ever since, meeting all kinds of spirits, getting into conversations and word games, and in the end... We were anchored to a little meadow. We thought of Kenneth McAlpin, all of us, in different ways, as hard as we could, and now we're here. Still searching. Yes. So, yes, all we have to go on is that we will change something, and Liffy, Liffy gave us some, gave me some word of warning as to what was coming. What did she say? She said I had to let her die, whoever her is. She didn't refer to herself, but she said her, referring to someone. I see. And who do you think it could be? Have Have you seen... Well, you did mention Siobhan, but... Well, she isn't in Tara already. We've seen... Lots of women who we care about die on in that night, but who else? Which Please let me know. The same we saw Siobhan, we saw another, we saw oh, Nadine. God. But I think I think it refers to someone who hasn't yet been killed. It's going to be related to whatever tragedy we must enact in order to save them. And I see. I don't she, know, it could be. She nods and, and, and thinks, I see, she says. Well, and you have, do you have an idea? Do any of you have an idea for how to move on from here to where you need to be? And when you, you need to be more precisely? I don't. I mean, assuming we're going after Kenneth McAlpin, I imagine finding our way to Scotland in kind of the early Middle Ages, late Dark Ages would probably be the best bet. But who knows? I'm not so sure, be... because at that time he would have been at the absolute peak of his power. That was when he was the King of Scotland. Hmm. He would have commanded the whole country. I don't think that you want to go there. I think... I think... you may want to go to... right before all these dreadful things that you describe happened. I think you want to be there to stop them from happening. Yeah. You think we go to all the places we saw videos? I think that's exactly what you need to do. So jump back and forth. Oh. Hmm. I don't know how exactly, 
But that's what I uh, think. Uh, thinking hard brought us somewhere, even if that's somewhere here. I and mean, let's face it, bringing us here has given us the information we need. So maybe that's the answer there. Yes. I think you probably all remember the videos quite well. Yeah. So we're going to the ma'am's house. We're going to this one of the streets just down the road from the Sept, from Raven's Eye, and then out to Tara. One question, if I may. Mm. She says, you said Liam is descended from Kushulan. How did you find out? What? What? Nothing like that happens um, at random. So what part has this played? We killed uh, Maeve? You killed Maeve? Right. Well, he, he fought Queen Maeve in the in the the, the Toyn she says that's uh you i i assume that you know the, the story reasonably well no well it's a story about a cattle raid it's basically about uh, uh how queen Maeve tries to steal a great big huge bull from from uh um from the king of of ulster three from of ulster she says and it, it's a huge, great, fantastic bull um, that she wants to add to her own flock. And it's got spiritual significance for the people of Ulster. But unfortunately, the army of Ulster can't defend their property because the king of Ulster has been in Egypt and has basically... Well, he, 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 he pissed off his pregnant wife by making her run for a very long time while pregnant. Um, and she then cursed him and all his men to suffer the pangs of labor for nine months in a row. So while the, while the entire army of Ulster is rolling around on the ground in, in pain, she invades, and the only man who isn't at home when it happens, the only warrior of Ulster that isn't at home when it happens, is Cushulan. So he single-handedly has to beat off an entire army, and he does so. That's how his greatest legend was created. But it's all about a cattle raid. We, um, what we saw, it was when Liam fought Gina Masterson. It was pretty much one-on-one, -on -one, and images of Kushulan and May flashed before us as it happened. And as, as mm. Liam stabbed Gina with his clave, it appeared as Kushulan paling Maeve upon a spear. That's then, new. He never did that in the old stories, but that doesn't have to mean anything here. That's then, the, that's the thing. So. Oh, and and then we saw, whilst we were trawling, we saw a, an old woman, washing, clothing or armor or something along the riverbanks. And I thought I recognized that from a legend involving Kushulan, but I couldn't quite. Yes, there's the story of how he asks a, a woman by the the river who uh, what it is she's washing and and she says, "But it's your armor, my lord." Yes, that's right. And I'm washing the the armor of Kushulan, who is going to die. Exactly. So. Oh, my my head has been fried by the flux. I'm not sure how to apply any of this now. Well, we need to get you out of here. As long as you are in this place. She says, as long as you are in this place, you are not going to be able to help anyone. And you're not going to be able to change anything. So, for now, we must get you out. So, if we get out, can we also be at the Leafy at the same time? You needed to be 
you needed to stop some things from happening am i right you needed to stop people from dying so you need to stop what happens in you need to stop what happens in tara you need to stop um uh you need to stop what aideen you said aideen was was hurt yes she in just yes. outside of the ravens i stepped in the dublin streets so yes so you need to stop that and you said your mother uh tally in our home in rathmines yes. yes are those the ones that you saw yes, yes. very well then we will we will have to find a way for you to get to these places to stop what happens and all right she says then i need you to be ready i'm going to have to let this place go you're never going to find your way there as long as we're in here what about you well I suppose I'll just have to um, deal with what's out there. I've had some time to, well, to get my head on straight, haven't I? Hmm. Liam. Yes. These videos have been quite close to each other. Yes. Out of game, did they happen yes, close very, to each other? Yes, very, yes, okay. very close to each other. Maybe we will have to speed up to be at all the places at the right time yeah we may I have don't to think we can come from from dublin to tara in time no you're probably right i mean Possibly, but then considering how time doesn't work here, it might be possible to leapfrog in and out quite quickly. How if do you, you suppose we do that? She shakes her head and says, if you leave here, believe me, you're not coming back in that easily. It is very, very hard to get into the Flux Realm. As we've been informed, it's even harder to get out, so I think we should take what we can so well that's why you have me here I think then if if we speed up we can make it yes but that will mean splitting up into three different groups as it were yes yes <sighs> all right I'll go alone to Aideen I think if Tadin and Taliesin go to his mom because yes. then Finn and I can run to Tara. Yes. Bear in mind also that I know we're not exactly bound by legend and great stories, but I think it'd be quite important if it were possible you need to be a Tara as well, Liam. That's where that's where you forgive me for lack of waxing lyrical that's where the re re is it's also where the king killing spear is hmm. so out of character um did um at the, at the end of last session did lou give remember, did someone give liam a spear towards the end of the last session or something. I, I, th I think something was given. Yes. We, we do have a spear, as I recall. Yeah. We were given a spear. At, I, I don't remember when, but we do have. Yes, you do have a spear. Yes. Just saying, if it's if it's Lou who gave the spear, then it's the spear of Lou, and the spear of Lou is. Oh, it's the gable, as it's called, the uh, it's, ah, it's yes, the... uh, uh hooked spear. Yes, given the belly spear. Yeah. Yes. Mm. You, you stick. I mean. 
I'm interested in how literally we're going to have to use the aging weapon because I'm interested in seeing Liam try and throw this weapon with his foot. Uh, oh. Liam. Yes. If you go save Bedin, I think the moon bridge is still open between Tara and uh, the green. That is actually a very damn good point, Smoddy. If not, I will try to open it. All right. That's the plan, then. I save Aideen, Tally and Taryn go to save Tally's mom. You go to Tara, and whenever I'm done doing what I need to do, I'll join you there. I hope the Fina won't mind. Yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't think they'll mind. Was that was that supposed to be funny? No, it really wasn't. Thank God, I thought I'd have to hit you. You um, are you ready? Pat says, "Are you all ready?" <sighs> I don't suppose we could sleep for a week here first. Strictly speaking, you could. That would make sense. Rest, recover. Uh, could you could you handle that? That's more. Could... Is is it, it? It will gnaw away at you. But if you need to rest, you can rest. It will gnaw away at us. How? I think oh it, well. Sanity, right? Ex well, not just that, but. I don't know if I could sit around for what felt like days for me while I knew what was about to happen. But True. I'm not you. Out uh, well, out of character. With those with those words of wisdom, what do we as players think? Is it worth I mean we did we did get some rest earlier to a point. Well you did, Tally didn't, but Um well, out of game, it, it's it's really a question of uh, how many points we have left in in each of the three uh, rage, gnosis, and, and willpower. Where we stand there, whether or not it's worth it. I mean, I'm pretty well off. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good as well. So it's it's down to Terran and and Marty. And Marty's at four out of seven. Yeah, but Terran is a two out of however many. Yeah. So maybe not a week, maybe a couple day. of days. Yeah. Maybe not at all and just get this over with? No, we need Taryn to to have some Taryn stares Liam down. She's so sh sick of waiting. <laughs> she's, she's not alone in that, but uh, Taryn we all want to get this over with. But the fact of the matter is, if we're not at full strength or as close to it as we can possibly get, we'll lose. We only get one chance. We get one chance and we can't blow it. So you can stare daggers at me all you want, but you're getting some damn rest. And that's the end of it. Okay, so you guys are taking a while to rest. The ups yep. the upside to it is that it doesn't feel like quite as long. I about to say, I was almost about to say, what would my comment would common sense apply as a sort of are you sure you want to do this uh, moment? But yes, that that's you can do so without any. Yes, problems, could I so. please? Could no, I please? No. Yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. You can do this. Okay, it's just the way that Cat worded it. I'm not sure whether or not she was saying, yeah, if you do this, fail miserably. What she's, or... No, no, what she said is, w are you sure you guys want to sit around and let this gnaw at you for four days? We've let us... We've let the initial boo-boo gnaw at us for the last however long anyway. I think we can hand... I think we're all pretty much emotionally broken at this point as it is. I think we're kind of past the point of sanity. 
just, and she says that's all right um get some rest and then we'll go and as i said it doesn't feel like um it doesn't feel like uh nearly as long uh yeah okay once once everyone's up then um Tully then says to Cat, well, the, on the quite reasonable chance that we won't see you again soon after this, if at all, I just want to say it has been, it's been fantastic fighting alongside you, Cat. It's been absolutely fantastic. Likewise. Good luck in here. Thank you. You... Uh, you should get ready. And... Um, and then we'll go. Muddy boobs, uh, cat. Yes? You meet the place. I call home possible. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm glad you like it so much. That actually means a lot to me. I wanted to create a place where there was a sp where there was place and room for everyone who had the courage to dream of something better than just fading away. You did. Well, I guess that's something. But you now, should come back and enjoy it. Yes, I definitely should. You're absolutely right. Now, let's get out there and get you where you need to go, she says. And as I said, people have had time to get some rest. It, you get back uh, two more points of willpower, and it, it hasn't felt like two days, that's the thing. It's, it's actually gone by remarkably quickly. Hmm. Um, because, you know, again, the flux. But she, she, looks, time? she looks at all of you and says, uh, are you ready? Yes. All right. Tally uh, changes into Krinos and nods. Yes. I think I think Liam does so as well, just just for the record. His bow. Yes. Getting ready to run. And she um, she takes a uh, a moment. She closes her eyes, and like the very very first time you saw her when she summoned Raven, this this blue light seems to drip from her 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 very you know from her body from her arms her hands her shoulder except it's it's, it's like water droplets but it's dripping upwards as she is channeling this this absolutely immense amount of gnosis and the the um uh, the, the hanger around you um is suddenly gone from one moment to the other it's suddenly gone you're standing in again you're standing in a meadow everything around you is for the moment at least completely stable it's not even that the flowers are, are changing or the grass is growing and dying and growing and dying and growing it's it's not the you, you can't even see the the horizon changing all the time the only thing that there might be is that the, the skies seem to float past a little quickly but that's about it and and you're standing there in this 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 calm and and serene and beautiful landscape this this meadow landscape and and you see a bull walking towards you. A great bull. It looks remarkably like Ferdinand. <laughs> Is this all of us or 
Uh, all of you, yes. Thirty, oh. baby. How are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yes, it's definitely Ferdinand. <laughs> How are you, Ferdinand? No. Hmm. He takes a, a, a good look at all of you, and then he, um, he he puts his head slightly to the side, as if he's you know great big enormous shaggy head, um, and looks at all of you with this uh, strange look for a moment, and then he looks towards Cat, who's still standing there, channeling this all this energy. And then he he seems to come to some kind of decision and instead of going moo he goes it's still about a cattle raid it's always been about a cattle raid <sighs> You have to stop this, or it will continue like this again and again and again. It will never stop. Don't worry, Ferdinand. We'll stop it. Good. It ends now. Good. Then I'll... Then I'll get you where you need to go. Thank you. He reaches, uh, or he, he walks from one to the other to the next of you in line, one at a time. And he gives each of you this, this great big bovine lick. Yay. <laughs> huge raspy tongue licking you up the side of your face which is kind of kind of sticky and icky and and <laughs> all manner of wrong I, I i can't help it as soon as this happens to tally he looks for me and just looks at ferdinand and goes mew <laughs> <laughs> he lo he looks at you and just shakes this great big big head and goes no 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 and then he licks you too, and <laughs> and uh, yeah. and and as he does so, you all in turn, you all fade uh, from where you are standing. And as you come back, we have, um, as you come to your senses, so to say, we have Taliesin standing in uh, right outside the back door to his and his mother's house he's there on his own um we have uh Marty standing at O'Connell Street and you can see um you can see uh uh Aideen coming towards you as fast as she can move um, and as for Taryn and uh, and um, Liam when you open your eyes you are quite literally standing on top of a pile, a mound of of dead people, corpses. You are looking at the hills of Tara. You can see um, Ross uh, where you saw him. He lies there. He's he is definitely not coming back. He's dead. You see. Um, uh, you see Siobhan still alive and standing. Um, she's wounded, but she's standing. 
you see a number of the other um, a number of the other uh, uh, Fina uh, still fighting or still able to fight, but they are th there aren't that many of them. Um, several of of your your tribe, Liam, are lying. Many of them are lying dead or or severely wounded on the ground. Mm. And um, and right behind you, uh, as you 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 stand there, right behind you, you hear a horse whinnying. Uh, and Liam turns around to to face what I'm assuming is is an opponent. Uh, right behind you is a raid, uh, 20 knights in shining armor, G beautiful, unbelievably beautiful armor, and at each astride, well not all of them, but several of them are astride war horses, several of them are standing on the ground, they have behind them a number of their own lying again dead on the ground arrayed respectfully on the ground there's one um lying there with three living knights um around her and you have no doubt that it's the queen And these knights that are still a horse and still standing, um, they look to you as you appear. And one of them, uh, the, the nearest one, bows his head to you and says, What are your orders? And we'll stop there until next time. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Wow. Queen bitch died? <laughs> yep, so that's... Yep, so... Queen of the Fae's dead, the king of the... of the, uh, of the Fina's dead. Now all we need is... either Liam or... McAlpin to die, and we've completed the trinity. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've got your work cut out for you, Liam. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Marty and, and Tally have been left by them on their own to well, deal with in, these. in fairness, uh, we still have. If Fena is there next time, I will insert her into one of the two. But yes, yeah. I think Marty will feel proud that that he was chosen to help save Aideen. Yeah. And Terence's first thought was, "Well, this isn't Tally's house, <laughs> and if yeah. it is." This is one big raid. For, for, yes, Ferdy clearly decided we needed. He, he sent us where we were needed, not where we wanted to be. Yes. Apparently. Well, this is where Terran wanted to be. Yeah, fair enough. And apparently where she's needed. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> so yes. XP, XP. XP, XP, XP. Yes. Three XP for tonight, guys. And, and cool. the mother of all cliffhangers. Now, yep. here's the thing. I would not mind us doing a double session as the last one if you are up for it, but it's entirely up to you. So we're expecting next session will be the last if, session. If, we, make if we play it as a double, then yes, next time will be a last. I'm up for it. Yeah, I'm up for it. Me too. How about you, uh, Aya? Are you okay with that? Uh, can we talk about that when we've said good night for today? Sure, certainly. Yes. And uh, well, in that case, let's do that. And um, yeah, um, well, in any case, regardless of whether it will be a double session next time or not, we will see you guys uh, next time for more A Song of Tara. And um, yeah, bye. 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 Bye bye.